when people talk about the smart cars nowadays, they aren't referring to the older 42 or the 44. You know, the one with the iconic scene from the Expendables movie where Arnold grabs the door and rips it open and says, My shoe is bigger than this car. No, it's not that. People tend to forget about those cars because, well, smart made a really big impact in Malaysia with the smart hashtag one. And based on Geely's sustainable electric architecture platform, it was brought in here by Pronet, a subsidiary from Proton. Now, the smart hashtag one has been in the market for just over 100 days, maybe 130, 140 days. But impressively, they have managed to sell 100 units of the smart hashtag one within a month. That's impressive. And they're not done yet. They are planning to expand their lineup with the all new smart hashtag three. Another no notable thing about the smart hashtag one, Brabus variant especially, it just recently won the electric crossover of the year award at the 2024 vehicle of the year awards. Now, before we show you the car and talk a bit more about the car, here's a quick shout out from our sponsor. Loyalty programs are great, but don't you just hate it when you lose the card or you forget to bring it and then you end up losing out on all those points? Well, BH Petrol has an ingenious solution to it. Rather than coming up with a card, they have launched the BH Petrol e-card application and it's available in both Android as well as for iPhones. What this does is you basically pour as you normally would, pick up the receipt and simply scan it. You get one point for every liter that you spend and it has a lot of exciting products then you can actually trade your points in for right now with bh petrol's e-card loyalty program i don't have to worry about losing my card or even losing out on my loyalty points making bh petrol's e-card loyalty program the right choice okay here we have it guys the smart hashtag 3 now just like the smart hashtag 1 the smart hashtag 3 comes in three different variants the pro the premium and the top of the line brabus here we have the pro variant actually now the pro variant comes with a small 49 kilowatt hour battery and has a wltp range of 325 kilometers so that's actually not bad for uh, those who don't want anything higher than that uh, visually, if you look at it, it, re it resembles the Smart Hashtag 1. It has the same design cues, except that if you notice, it's a bit bigger, it's a bit wider, it's a bit longer, but it sits lower to the ground compared to the Hashtag 1. Now, if you look at it from the side, you can see it has the blended in door handles. It has a very sleek design. Well, that's because it's an SUV coupe. Now, if we come on to the back here. Well, it's very similar to the hashtag one, but let me show you one very special feature. To open the boot, it's actually interrogated into the A, where you press and it opens. Now, that's the first time we've seen this very smart and clever feature on a car. And here we have the charging port. Now, for the Pro, it has a 7 kilowatt AC charging and a DC charging of up to 130 kilowatts, which is way lesser compared to the premium and the Brabus, which get 22 kilowatt of AC charging and 150 kilowatt of DC charging. Now, in terms of power, the premium and the Pro have a single motor rear wheel drive setup that produces about 268 horsepower, 343 newton meters of torque. It can go from 0 to 100 in 5.8 seconds and has a speed limit, high, top speed limit of 180 km per hour. The Brabus variant, however, gets a dual motor setup with all-wheel drive. It has about 422 horsepower, 543 newton meters of torque, and the 0 to 100 is an impressive 3.7 seconds. Sadly, the top speed is also limited to 180 km per hour. So on the inside, it's very Mercedes-like with your circular air vents. Well, that's because it's designed by Mercedes. You get a 12.8-inch floating screen. You get a 9.2-inch full, uh, full LCD high-definition instrument panel. 
and of course you get the 10 inch full color heads up display now you get wireless charging storage compartments here and this storage compartment actually helps keep your drinks cool it also has a panoramic sunroof that now stretches all the way to the back because of how long the car is which uh, gives you more sunlight but do we really need one in this Malaysian weather? I don't know, you tell us another fun fact um, if you realize that the smart hashtag 1 your companion on your screen was a fox but now with the hashtag 3 it comes with a cheetah which um, according to smart uh, is because it represents how muscular, sporty and fast the car is now we get into the back and see how spacious it is now this was my driving position just now and I like to push my seat all the way back but as you can see I still have enough leg room I still have ample amount of head space and maybe if we put two smaller people here three people can fit at the back so I would say rear spacing is really good you get rear air conditioning vents uh, two USB slots one C and one T um, you get storage compartment here and you get these cool lights here now the pro variant comes with standard speakers but if you are going for the premium and the bravos just like the hashtag one you get 13 beat speakers which honestly will enhance your audio system way more than the pro will ever do So if you're getting the premium and the Brabus variant, um, you get ventilated seats. So in this hot weather, this, uh, this is a very, very good feature to have, to turn on. Keeps your back and your bottom cool. And another thing is, you get the beat speakers here for the Brabus and the premium, which the Pro does not have. Okay guys, so now we are in the Smart Hashtag Cream Brabus. And automatically you can feel the speed once you put your foot down compared to the hashtag one the throttle response is a bit sharper although it's the same model horsepower and top it feels more refined it feels more okay so during the cornering we cannot exceed more than 100 km per hour uh, if we extend it <laughs> But that's the feel you get in from the start. You just want to put your foot down the whole time. Okay. So we are coming up from the semi-high speed track and going to the inner track. You really test the agility of the car since it's a bit wider and bigger. We want to see if it's as agile as the hashtag one. In terms of competitors, the Smart Hashtag 3 doesn't really have a competitor but um, we can consider maybe the Volvo EX30 as a competitor. But um, besides that, those who are looking for a fun family size uh, SUV, you may consider the Smart Hashtag 3 because registrations of interest are open right now. You can head on over to their website and check it out. In terms of pricing, we aren't really sure yet because uh, they haven't officially announced anything. But the Smart Hashtag 1 ranges from 189,000 to 249,000 ringgit. Um, so we can probably expect this to be about maybe 20 to 30,000 more. So when is it launching? Well, since the registrations of interest are open right now, according to Smart, 
the uh, smart hashtag 3 should be launching very very soon so keep your eyes out for the launch date and we'll keep you updated